Hey guys, it's Miss Vinian We're here with Flip Video 1 for World War 1. And our essential question is how do small actions create larger consequences? We're doing learning targets 3.1 and 3.2, explain the causes of World War 1, and analyze the reasons for American neutrality. So let's get started. Okay, so story time. Once upon a time, there was a lad named Franz Ferdinand, and he was the future leader of a country called Austria-Hungary. Six years earlier, Austria-Hungary had taken over Bosnia, and many Bosnians and Serbians who lived in Bosnia were angry. So, this is what kind of starts the war. The Archduke Ferdinand of Austria-Hungary was visiting Bosnia. While he was there, on June 28, 1914, he was assassinated by a Serbian. Okay, um, and that guy's name is Gavrilo Princip. Now, Gavrilo was part of a terrorist group, um, and they basically were trying to get rid of Austria-Hungary influence out of Bosnia and Serbia. So he um, he assassinated um, Franz Ferdinand, and there's Franz Ferdinand right there, and that's going to make obviously it's going to make Austria-Hungary very upset. So they are going to declare war. So what ends up happening is we have. Austria-Hungary, sorry, declares war on Serbia, which causes a domino effect here. Uh, because Russia was in uh, cahoots with Serbia, Russia declares war on Austria-Hungary. And then Germany was in cahoots with Austria-Hungary. So Germany declares war on Russia. So you can see it goes back and forth. Uh, France uh, backs up Russia, so they declare war on Austria-Hungary and Germany. And then Germany is like, what? France declared war on us? We're going to declare war on France. So then France's old buddy, Great Britain, comes in and declares war. So really it's just a bunch of countries declaring war on each other because they have alliances, which was one of the four main causes, if you remember. All right, so who are the allies? The allies are the Russians, um, the French, um, sorry, uh, Great Britain, Italy, Serbia, and the U.S. So please make sure you write these dates down next to them because Italy... Remember, starts off on the central powers. They only come to allied powers after Germany invades them. Um, and then the U.S. joins in 1917. So we're about to discuss the initial reasons for U.S. Uh, neutrality. So those are the allies. Then we have the central powers, which are Germany, Austria, Hungary, and the Ottoman Empire, which is known as Turkey. Um, neutral countries, the U.S. 1914 to 1917, Sweden, Switzerland, Spain, um, all of these countries uh, try to stay out of the mess. Um, there were some neutral countries that still secretly supported, um, like the Allied powers, or they secretly supported Central powers. For example, the U.S. was neutral, but they still supported the Allied power powers. We talked about this political cartoon in class, and it kind of, uh, if you'll remember, this is the Serbian, the Austria-Hungary, and so basically it's like, hey, get your hands off my friend, or I will go to war with you. All right, so why does the U.S. remain neutral? The U.S. remains neutral because basically, like, we just got to the end of this whole imperialism thing. Woodrow Wilson had um, done moral diplomacy and had practiced moral diplomacy and saw the problems going on, knew that we needed to focus on, sorry, knew we had to focus on problems uh, within the United States. So he said we need to remain neutral in thought as well as deed. So, like, we completely need to remain neutral. Um, he wanted to protect international trading rights because if they weren't neutral, then they would no longer be able to trade with certain countries. And in 1916, his presidential campaign um, was he kept us out of war. Just kind of like how there's some slogans like Obama has Yes We Can and Hillary Clinton has um, Together and um, Donald Trump has Make America Great Again. Everybody has their um, slogan. So he kept us out of war would be this. Slogan. American banks were loaning money to the Allies. They loaned them $2 billion. So really, America's not neutral. They are playing sides. Okay. So let's talk about this. Okay. So U.S. neutrality goes under fire. Um, there's a British blockade in the North Sea, and the Germans engage in what, submarine U boat war warfare. Um, so the Lusitania was this boat um, that was sunk by the German U-boats. The British liner kind of got out of, um, you know, the area it was supposed to be in, and the Germans sunk it. They also sunk um, other ships and some other submarines, and basically, like, economic ties with Britain and France, like, helped with the wartime trade, and U.S. Um, financed a lot of the Allied war effort. So you can see America's not technically neutral, even though they claim to be neutral. Okay, so that's it for today, and we'll get into more about neutrality next time. Have a great day.